Welcome to Mystic Potato. And today I'm going to be making another impact. First, let's see. Is there anything to upgrade here? Well, this is my own. My priest is, mat is matched out. But let's make this impact. So we're going to go to Heroes. And we're going to get... We're going to make Violet into an impact. Ready to? Yeah. Let's go. Yep. Finally, we got her. And there you go, is our new impact. Now I have a total of... Oh, press the weapon, seven impact. These are currently my all my impacts. The first one I ever made was Ion. Not greed. Um, I don't know who's the next person we're gonna focus on to make an impact. But if we look at our exalted people that we have here, it has to be between probably, probably Death Crown. Cause I'm making the Death Crown an impact. So. See that Infinity Six, probably Death Crown or Fire Crown. Cause I would like to get Atlas also at the impact and make Hails an impact, but you know we're just gonna see how things go. So currently, and we have this event, the reward festival going on right now. I feel like I'm going to end up gemming it, but for now, I feel like I'm going to end up gemming it, but for now, I've just been doing the regular season mission this currently. I'm almost done with the, um, week. I finished week one already. Um, I got to finish week two, and the only thing I didn't do is the 75 arena fights and it's like I haven't gemmed it so maybe I'll gem it I'm gonna save that for later so let's go and complete all our tasks for today let's go fight the world boss see Let's see what my score will be. So basically, I try to use the recommended characters for everything, even though my recommended characters are not always the strongest. We'll see if we'll end up in the top like 10 or 25. Probably won't. It would be great to get At Atlas as an impact, but since the opportunity came to make um Violet an impact, I wasn't going to pass that up. I try to work on the ones who have like the highest infinity number right now. 
because it actually takes like a good long time to make an impact. Especially when there's not an event because when you log into the game you get about you get to an infinity card select twice and then it resets and then you get a random infinity card. But another thing that's helpful is if you just um complete all the game content every day, at the end of the week you get a random infinity card. So I would recommend doing that and I also recommend making um the infinity items is also helpful. And just to be mindful of which, like, of, be mindful of who you pick when you get, like, an affinity select. Be mindful because you don't know which, like, well, how to go about it. I would say first pick one character that you want to make an affinity and then start collecting them affinity cards. For me... Um, I like to start by picking one character who's going to be an Infinity, and then I focus on that one character. But sometimes other characters end up getting like a lot of Infinity cards stacked up. But I'm, I couldn't wait to put Violet on my team as an impact because I thought she, cause she's like pretty good. I don't know, she like increases like your team, like at least I want to get her as an impact. And then now this is a grind to another impact after this. And also I want I, I wanna get at last as an impact. I'm thinking about getting her next as an impact, but we'll see. She's at infinity five. I may grind to get her into an impact. Then there's some people who are impact that I really don't have a lot of infinity cards for. But I'm really thinking of getting Atlas at the impact because I feel like she she would be helpful in the arenas, like characters in the arenas. My goal is to get like every impact in the game. Slowly but surely, because I like to collect. It's like this game is more like on collecting characters. Because in the beginning, I got every exalted character before. Got every exalted character, and then I moved on to making every character. And exalted, I'm doing the same thing. Sorry about that. But then now I want to get every character as an impact. Like, it's a grind. I'm going to say this. It is really a grind. And it's a lot of waiting when you're making an impact. A lot of waiting, especially if you're starting from scratch. It's a lot of grind. It's a lot of grind because the higher you go, the more infinity cards you need. Because... Just more infinity cards you need it's a lot. Um if you go to the Dragon Braze Reddit, it'll tell you how many fini they will it says how many infinity cards you need to make an impact. And it's a, it's a lot. See Duck Crown is a twenty six. Maybe I'll make him an impact and Maybe yeah, to get Death Crown, I'll focus on Atlas or Halo to make them an impact. If, if they if making impacts were easier, that'd be great. But well, that's just not always the case. And as you can see, we both to get wrecked. So you can see my character fell down. She gone. Yeah. We're getting wrecked. We're getting wrecked. I don't think we'll last the full time for this, but if we do, that's good. If we don't, yeah, we tried. And then I got Envy. Mm, my favorite character in the game. Well, 
I like Sloth because, like, she's, she, like, her, her exalted form is, like, she's just, she, she's laying down, just relaxing. But her impact form, it looks like she's kind of falling. I feel like a Sloth should be more, like, laying there instead of looking like she's dangling, but it's fine. Yup, we getting right. We getting right. Yeah, we're getting right. Yeah, we're getting right. Bruh. Okay, three minutes. About three minutes left. Let's just get the little bit. And eventually, I'm going to leave this on auto. And then go on my computer. Because that's what I do most of the time. I leave this on auto and I go on my computer. So I can, like, play as much as possible. So I can complete it to continue doing the reward thing. The reward chest thing. To get more prizes. Then I hope that like there's like another update for the game that has the I like the bingo event. The bingo event was cool uh, until you ran out of shoes. You ran out of shoes, you uh, I just grinded to get more. Right now I'm kind of low on shoes though because I've been sending them to the challenger dungeon a lot. And because they were having this. Um, if you play the game a lot, the touch the boom, touch the ball thing, where you have to like keep throwing things, and if you didn't hit the pit, you didn't get a reward. Well, that was my end. Oh, we're gonna make it to the last second. It's okay. But our score is not looking groundbreaking at all. I think make a character in Infinity probably next thing is to get my runes up. Higher runes. Higher runes would be good and also the weapons. Higher weapons. If I know getting my runes up would probably really really give me more advantage because the, uh, in the arena and in the other battles, we battle against other people in the game. It's just, it gets so, they, they be giving people with their pow power level so much higher than yours. And another thing is the fact that your roaches in the games take so much souls to level up because I have three roaches that are three stars. And the rest of them are, are like two stars. And that took like a while. So at first you have to first even create them. Okay. Who did the most work? Atlas. Thank you. We gotta enter the arena. Entering the arena. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm about to. Yeah, go to watch me. Catch some elves. Yeah, go to watch me catch some elves. Because I don't know.
Also, the alteration cards are helpful too. Oh, they have Violet on their team. I don't know if Violet was for the arena. Well, uh, people you can use their own character that they want to use anyway. Let's see how this is going. Not whole screen is just like it's, it's like can we handle it? In the comments below, leave who's your favorite character and what impact you're going to try to get next. I thought I was going to cast that out, but I did it so interesting. Let's look at the shop because like I feel like there's some new costumes. Okay, we're gonna have to like that. I'll be done playing when I finally get every impact in the game. See the normal attendance. See, I finished it, and then I got a funny car coming. So the next thing is to just you know stay logged in because after this week I got to see I can find the car. Then if any car coming, then it's the last one to the select. Okay. Let's look at Muddy Heroes. Let me go to Impact. T and T. Here, all their. For some reason, I haven't found a gem for her yet. Open the game. This is Violet. Let's get her stuff. Violet accepts the power of solar essence to create a paradise full of life and blessing. Inflicts damage on enemy and inflicts flat damage on surrounding normal attacks. The more Impex, the better. Infinity skills. When you read enhanced state displayed on the upper corner, you will obtain the skill. Okay, basically. Exalted five. We'll look at Envy. Uh, makes sense. Material. So right now I have seven. I said this was one. Who shall be next? Who shall be next? Who shall be next? You can leave um, a comment. Of who you think should be next. It's just, I'm not picking anything I'm gonna make, it just takes a while.
So after this, we're going to do an infinity summon. Let's do the roach summon. And thanks for all. Thanks for watching, and that will be all right now. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. And